Hello, my name is Ken, K-E-N. In this video, I would like to show you how to practice recognize the notes in the music score, okay? Alright, now, this is the treble clef I already draw and I have random notes, random notes, okay, just random notes, very easy. And I just write, write that random note. I don't know what they are, what they are. Okay, see, like that, all right. And how I practice recognize this. So now the first note, I don't know what note it is. So I have to write out all the notes, seven notes that I know before. Okay, let me write down. This is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right, very easy. Or come back, right? I just write as much as I can. A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. All right, and I write the, the name of that. So A stands for La, B stands for T, C stands for Do, D stands for Re, oops, okay. E stands for Mi, F stands for Fa, G stands for So, and repeat, La, T, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and so on. All right, now, I know that the treble clef has another name, is G clef. Okay, so I write it down. G clef. All right. And I know that the center of the clef show where the G is. So the center is at the second line, second line. So the second line, this note is G. Very easy. Okay, and I know that if the notes above, I need to follow direction of left to right. If the notes below, I need to follow the direction from right to left. Very easy. So left to right or right to left depend depend on the way you look above or below. Very easy. All right. So now I have this note, the next one. So, uh, sorry, the first note. What is this? Very easy. I take the first G as number one. So I count line, space, line, space. Remember, do not miss anything. You need to combine everything in line and space, line and space. All right. So we have uh, sound is one. The next one is the space. So second space is two, right? And then the third line is three. Very easy, isn't it? And then right at the note we need to define is four. All right. And then from here, we on the order of the notes, I just write the same thing. So G is number one. And then I write one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. Why I write from the left to the right direction? Because the number fourth note is above the G. Above, that means we need to look up. And then we need to follow left to right. Very easy. So right here, number four, it lands at C. Right? Number four lands at C. Very easy. So I know this is C. Easy, right? Okay. Now, Let me write it again. All right, so after that, the second note we need to define is this note, okay? This note is on the third line of the staff, okay? So now, if we take the first note that we defined the C, all right, we defined it the C. So the next one is the second note below the C. Yes, one step below. So if we take C as number one, number one, and then below it, right after that, see the C is now at the 
third space. So the third line should be two, isn't it? We cut backward, we cut backward. So the note we already know, we set at one. And from that note, from the one, we count up or count down to define the next one. So this is B, isn't it? B. Why? How do I know this is B? Because C right here, right? We have number one is C, right? And then the next note is below. That means we need to write from right to left. Okay, we need to write from right to left. Um, yeah, so this is number two, isn't it? So this is B, correct. All right, now let's find the other. The third note here, the third note. All right, how do I know this note? This is very far, isn't it? So I just take G as the middle. So from here, I write one, where is it? One, and then because this note is below the G, then we need to find from the right to the left. So we count down, right? One, two, three, four, like that. So one, two, three, four. Okay, on this, we have G right here, do right from, from right to left. Okay, and then one, two, three, and four. Yes, I define this note is D, right? Very easy. So, what is this note? The next one. All right, this note is above the G, isn't it? Above the second line. So, I just write the G right here, G, and I take G as one. And then the next one is two, very easy. One, two, so this is A, isn't it? All right, so E right here, this E, how do I know this E so fast? It's just because I already defined note before. I know the first note in this exercise is C. So I just, you know, in my mind, I know this C right here. So I take C as one and go up two and three right here one two and three so this is e very easy and come back this we already know right same thing fourth line uh, sorry one two three third space third space okay third space is c and so on we will memorize if we practice that more and more okay Just, you know, write randomly. Randomly. And we practice like that. And from counting, like I'm sh I already show you, then I can define this is B, this is D, this is F, this is G, this is B, this is D, this is B, and this is G. Right, and then from that I can read the notes fast, like B D F G B D B G, very easy. Or if I write the name, is T, Re, Fa, Son, T, Re, T, and Son. Then I just, you know, read with the sofa name like. T re fa son T re T son. See, very easy. All right. Okay. In the next video, I will show you the lecture line, extra line for the notes above the staff and below the staff. Okay. Please follow me and yeah, you know, wait for my next video. Thank you very much for being subscribers and please give me the thumb up and share the video so other people will learn music for free and thank you very much bye bye have a good day